Hey what's up guys, so today I'm gonna show you how you can create a high capacity smart battery using some automation and uh, two smart batteries. So basically this is a setup so that you could maximize the capacity of your jumbo battery when using it with smart battery. So let's take this for example, the usual setup that you would do we, uh, when you have a generator, a jumbo battery, and a smart battery. So basically your smart battery's automation is connected to the call generator such that when it's full, the generator shuts down. That's how you usually do this. But the problem is the smart battery only has a capacity of 20 kilojoules while the jumbo battery has a capacity of 4 kilojoules. So what happens is, oh, let, uh, let us plug this in so you can see, well, so I can demonstrate. Uh, sorry, that was dumb. I should have plugged the automation wire instead. There. Now you can see it's draining. Uh, wait, where did this polluted water come from? Did someone be here? Oh. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so the smart battery has a power capacity of 20 kilojoules, while the jumbo battery has a capacity of 40 kilojoules. So what happens is, wait, let's wait for this to discharge. Then I'll show you. Well, actually, you probably know what happens. This is just to demonstrate. The battery gets charged, but since the smart battery is only 20 kilojoules, the jump battery will only be charged up to half of its total power. And it's off. Now, what we're trying to do with this setup is so. It, what we're trying to do here is create a setup such that your jumbo battery will be charged to full instead of just half. So this is the smart battery, the high capacity smart battery setup. So uh, let's discuss how I created this. First you need this kind of looping of heavy watt wires, four power shot off, and those three of those power shot off is connected to a memory toggle. So let's see what we have here. First power shot off. Well, it's kind of a bit complicated. So what it does, what the system does is, for example, we're in the discharge phase. Let's wait for the charging phase. This is taking a while. Are we using power? All right, so we're in the charging phase. This power shot off turns on. It charges the first battery, toggles the next power shot off, charges the next battery so while all of that is happening happening the two power shot offs at the top is up op open so the entire time these two are charging but the, the time this is charging plus the time this is charging the total of that is the time this jumbo battery which is battery connected to the circuit is charging so as you can see it goes to full It stops. Now, the two power shots off at the bottom goes open and the power shot off at the top closes. So what this setup is trying to do is that it's dis it discharges one smart battery at a time. Time this is discharging plus time this is discharging is the total time. The total time of that is the time this one is discharging. So it's discharging here. And then once that's completely discharged, this power shot off closes and it now discharges the next smart battery. So uh, this is the setup of the automation wires. Basically the output of the smart battery goes to a NOT gate and controls this shot off and its output negated for the second time so it's two negative so it's just a positive. It goes all the way to the generators. And actually this is not important. This is just to start the things so you can completely ignore this power switch. But you would need that to manually control the setup. So let's see what we can show here. So after this output goes to a NOT gate, it goes to the reset of this to memory toggle so that's when this becomes full that signals this to reset and open now this smart battery its output is connected to a NOT gate and to the set port of this 
memory toggle so that when this is full, it closes this one. It's also connected, its output is also connected to the set port for, th for this memory toggle connected to this power shutoff. So that when so that when this is empty, it sets this, it closes this, that's during the discharge cycle. So if you want to copy this setup, just take a screenshot of this and copy it to your base. It's a bit complicated to explain, maybe I'm not just good at explaining things, but I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you guys for watching.